Hello subscribers, welcome back and hello to new visitors as well. My name is Piyush Pand, I'm an architect and you are watching People's TV English. Subscribe our channel, like and share the videos and help us in spreading the free knowledge. It is free and always will be. In this video, we will know how to export a PNG or JPG file from AutoCAD in high resolution so that it does not get blurry when we zoom the image and also we will know how to preserve the line weight of our DWG file as we get in exporting a PDF file from AutoCAD. Best file format to export from AutoCAD is PDF file format because it gives us the infinite zoom option without blurring of the image and we can see the exact line weight which we produce in AutoCAD. But most of the time we need the file in image form as well from AutoCAD to use them in our presentations, articles, publications, portfolios and other applications where resolutions of the image is important. We don't want to get our image blurry. So how to get that sharp and non-blurry image from AutoCAD? Let us start with opening AutoCAD first. Here I have already prepared a plan for an example with all the line weights, text, dotted lines, light lines and others so that we can cover all possibilities of the type of file we export from AutoCAD as a JPG or PNG. In the layer panel, we can see three layers are assigned, bricks, mortar and text. Brick layer has a line weight of 0.3 mm and mortar and text layer has a line weight of 0.15 mm each. This is to make a difference between the bricks and other elements when we take out the print or create an image from it. Now let's export the images in JPG and PNG file format in a default manner which we usually do and compare it with PDF. After that we will get to know how to do modification while exporting to get images similar to a PDF quality. Hit Ctrl plus P from your keyboard to open the plot model window dialog. Go to printer plotter section and from the rollout select the plot to web JPG option. A plot paper size window dialog will open asking you to set the paper size. Let's select the first default option of 1600 into 1200 pixels. Now go to plot area and from what to plot rollout select window option. It will take you automatically to model space to select the area. Use the left click of your mouse to select the area of which you want the print of. Click and drag from one side and click again at the end to finish the selection. When selection is done, the plot window dialog will open up again. Here check the box of center to plot option to bring the drawing at the center of the sheet. In the plot style table, make sure the style is set to monochrome and all colors in the drawing are assigned as true colors, then only it will come in monochrome print style. In shaded viewport option, set the shade plot style to as displayed from the rollout and set the quality to maximum from the rollout. Now in the plot options below, make sure the checkbox of plot objects with line weight and plot with plot styles are checked. Leave the rest as it is and move forward. Before clicking OK, let's just check the preview of our image. Yeah, it's fine to go ahead. Now right click of our mouse and exit the preview window and come back to the plot window dialog and hit OK in the end. Now you need to provide the location in your computer where you want to save your image. I have already saved the JPG image by following the same process so I will move forward and export the PNG file by following the same process as we did to save a JPG file. Now we have both files saved as image1 and image2 as JPG and PNG file respectively. Now let's export the same drawing as PDF file format. From the plot model dialog, select DWG to PDF option from the list. In the paper size rollout, select any file size, let's say A4 size. Keeping all the things same as before, let's preview the file. You will see in the preview that the zooming range have increased. Now exit the preview window and hit OK to specify the location where you want your PDF to be saved. And hit save in the end. As I have already saved the PDF. I will cancel it. Now let's open all the files we saved all together and compare them. We have image 1 as JPG file, image 2 as PNG file and third one is the PDF file. 
When we zoom in on JPG and PNG file after a while, you will see the text lines and other things will start blurring. We will not be able to read our drawing after a while. But when we zoom in a PDF file, you will see it has an infinite zoom level. The image does not get pixelated or blurred at any level of zooming and the line weights are also preserved. So to get our image with same quality as PDF, few modifications we can do in the process. Let's start with exporting PNG file again. Rest all the steps will be same as we did before. Only this time we will open the printer plotter properties. A plotter configuration dialog will be in front of you. Let's align it to one side. Now go to the custom paper sizes option under user defined paper sizes. You will see the list of all custom paper sizes below. Our paper size is default uh, 1600 by 1200 pixels. So let's increase it 5 times that is 8000 by 6400 pixels. That is the custom size paper we need. If you want more better image you can go for more pixel size. Now to add this paper size click add button. A custom paper size dialog will open up. Select start from scratch. Click next. Here you can type the custom size which we need that is width of 8000 and height of 6400 and keep the units as pixels. After that click next. Now you can rename the paper size here so that you can easily find it in the list. I am naming it to new high resolution. Click next after renaming. Now scroll the list you will see our custom size paper is now included in the list. Click OK. Now go to the paper size scroll down list and find the paper size we just made and select it. Now preview the file. You will see that the zooming range has increased than previous PNG we made with default paper size. Now right click and plot the image. You can see our previous PNG image was of 21 KB size. Now we will rename our file as high resolution image 2 and hit save. Same thing you can do for exporting a JPG file format but I prefer PNG above JPG. Now let's compare with the default exported JPG and PNG file we did with the high resolution PNG file we just created. When we zoom in at same level on all the three images, you will see in our high resolution image everything is coming fine. Nothing is pixelating or blurring. But the only problem what we are facing here is we are not able to maintain the line weights when we increase the resolution of the image. So our next step will be to retain the line weights in our image. One way to do that is by increasing the line weight of everything in same proportions. As we can see our previous line weights were 0.3 millimeters and 0.15 millimeters and they are not visible in the image. So we can increase by making the line weight of bricks as maximum and in the same proportion assigning line weights to other elements. Now let's export the PNG file with increased line weight by following the same process and plot settings by using the previous plot option. Preview and plot the image and save it to the desired location in your computer. I have already saved the same file so I will replace it here to save it again. Now let's open both the PNG images we saved earlier. To your left is the previous PNG image we exported with the same line weights as assigned in the beginning. And to your right is the PNG image we just exported with increasing the line weights. We are able to mark out the difference in both the images. Zoom range is same for both of the images as they are of same resolution. But in the previous images line weights were not clear. Which is more better in the current image we exported with increased line weights. The problem with PNG or JPG is that the more resolution you will increase more fine the line will become and the line weights given to them diminishes. As we know in AutoCAD there is a limit to the line weight. We have taken maximum line weight for the bricks. We can't go any further than that. But if we will increase the resolution of the image, the effect of the line weight will diminish. 
So this method is good for some cases. But if you want more HD picture having more zoom range, there is another trick to do that. Let's start with it. Open AutoCAD again. You can see because of the increase in the line weight, to work in the drawing with the line weights on is also a bit difficult. So let's resume to the previous line weights we have given to all the three layers from the layer panel. Now select the rectangle of the brick. You will see it is a polyline. As the size of the central blue grip is rectangular and all corner grips are square. That is the identification of a polyline. Now go to the properties palette. You can also type MO from your keyboard to open this palette. In the palette under geometry section there is an option of global width. The value of which is 0 now. Let's change it to 4 and press enter. You will see the width of the rectangle of the brick has increased now. Now match the same with all other bricks. Why 4 unit of global width? It depends only on what size and resolution your image is. I have already tried 4 unit of global width by taking a test print. That's why I am with that. Now our bricks are all matched. After that we will match the lines and arrows. You can see they are a SP line in which we can't give global width. You can see there is no geometry section in the properties palette. Exploding the SP line will also do nothing. So either you can increase the line weight of the SP line or you can convert them to polyline. Type PE from your keyboard to get into the polyline edit command. It will ask you that do you want to turn it into a polyline. Type Y for yes and press space bar two times to finish it and press escape key at the end to get out of the command. Now our SP line is converted into a polyline. And when we will go to properties palette, you will see that the geometry section is now available. And let's change the global width to just half of the bricks that is 2 units. Because our line widths are also in the same proportion of 0.3 mm and 0.15 mm. Now the thickness of the lines have also increased. In the same way, one by one we can convert all other SP lines to polyline and give them the same global width. Now comes the dotted lines. Convert the dotted lines to polyline as well and give them the same global width as we gave to SP lines. Now to join different lines and make them a one polyline, just convert any one line to polyline. Then use join command to select other two lines and hit spacebar. You will see that it will become one single polyline. Now select it and give it the same global width as other dotted lines. Lines are done. Now comes the hatch part. Solid hatch doesn't have a problem. It will come fine in any resolution of image. But when we use lines in hatching, then it can create problem for higher resolution image. We may not be able to see it properly. We can't give any global width to hatches. So easy way to do is to increase their line weights. As there are many lines in one single hatch collectively, it will create a bold effect and will be visible in higher resolutions as well. The smaller line weights will also do the trick. Otherwise we have to explode the hatch and convert the lines into polylines which is not the right way to do. So let's just increase the line weight and go ahead. Now by using the previous plot settings we will export another PNG file but this time with improved line weights. In the final comparison let's open all three high resolution PNG files we created. One is with the normal line weights, second is with the increased line weights and third and final is with use of global weights. You can see the difference by yourself when we zoom all three at same levels. 
The resolution is same for all three, but the line weight differences and the visibility of all lines are more clear in the final PNG image.